Hey everybody, it's the Ginger Optimist. Today, I'm going to make a box cake mix and it's going to taste like a homemade cake from scratch. I'll show you how and the most amazing thing is I'm going to do it in my two tier stackable steam pans in the Instant Pot. So come on, let's get started. I already have my Instant Pot beginning to heat up. I've got it on manual for 30 minutes. And now we're gonna put our cake mix together. In my KitchenAid, which is my dream machine, I love it. I have put my cake mix in there. And instead of the cake uh, mix recipe calls for three eggs, but I'm going to do five eggs. The box recipe calls for one cup of water, and in place of the water, I'm going to do a cup of milk. Okay, so in place of the half a cup of oil, I'm going to do a cup of melted real butter. I'm gonna turn the mixer on. Oh, that smells yummy. Now we're gonna spray with the olive oil cooking spray the inside of our steam pans. I'm gonna kind of spread that around a little bit. Now I'm gonna put just a little bit of flour inside the pans. This is so the cake doesn't stick. And we're going to put the batter in the cake pans. Looks pretty even. I'll stack them on top of each other. By the way, I had already allowed my eggs to sit out and get to room temperature. And the butter was soft, it just wasn't completely melted. And that's just, and the milk had set out for room temperature for a little while as well. That's just one of the tricks of uh, baking cakes from scratch. So I'm doing that for this box cake mix as well. Now we're gonna put these pans in the holder. Close it up, click it. Put it down inside. The Instant Pot, the Instant Pot started with two cups of water and it's down to about a cup now because it's had time to get hot. So we're gonna put the lid on, make sure that the venting knob is turned to seal and let it rise and do its thing. I'm going to make some yummy chocolate icing. So let's get that going right now. I've already put in four cups of powdered sugar and I've got a half a cup of cocoa Half of this cocoa is special dark chocolate, unsweetened. The other half is 100% cacao. It is, a, it is unsweetened as well. Going to put that in. Two sticks of butter, and these are at room temperature. Gonna add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I, I have a doTERRA peppermint oil. It is safe to ingest. And if you're gonna use peppermint oil, you need to make sure that the kind you have is safe to ingest. I'm gonna put about six drops, just to give a little bit of a peppermint, chocolate peppermint taste. Now I'm gonna lift this up, turn it on. I love this little boiler pot. Okay, just click off. So we're gonna add six tablespoons of boiling water. I'll leave links down below where you can find uh, a boiling pot like this for your water. It's so handy. 
Okay, so we've got six tablespoons of boiling water. Gonna add that to the mix. Get that going. Icing is ready and we'll be good to go on the cake when the cake's done. I allow the cake to cook for 30 minutes on manual and then I let it do a self-release and it's been going for about 33 minutes. So now we're gonna open it up. Check out the cake. Oh, they look so pretty. So we're gonna let them cool before we try to take them out and put icing on them. So I'll come back in just a little while and then we will icing the cake. Now it's time for the taste test. See how this cake turned out. Wow. I don't normally let myself eat things like this, but ooh, I'm gonna enjoy this piece of cake. Amazing. So on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the absolute best for baking this cake, I would have to give it a 10 double thumbs up. So I love my new steam pots by Tartek Kitchen. I will leave a link down below where you can order your set as well. And if you make a cake, I'd love to hear what kind of cake you make and how it turns out. That's just such a nice little cake when you're gonna have company. It's not too big, but it's not too small. It's just right. Thank you so much for watching The Ginger Optimist. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, would you please give me a thumbs up? And if you're not following me already, I hope you will. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. God bless, bye.